Let us understand how the firewalls are used in network security. Every business organization consists of its own private corporate network. It remains secured as long as it remains as a private corporate network, but when it is connected to the internet like this, it is exposed to the entire population on the internet. So the corporate network gets uh, uh, exposure to the entire population on the internet when it is connected to the internet. So this is where the network requires security and what is the role of firewalls in providing the network security we are going to understand. So whenever a corporate network is to be connected to the internet, we can establish what is known as a firewall in between the corporate network and the internet. So the firewall is a barrier, an obstacle, a block or hurdle that lies in between the corporate network and the internet. As we can see here, because of which we can achieve what is known as network security. So the very purpose of firewall is providing security to the corporate network. So what is a firewall? A firewall is nothing but a device, maybe a hardware component or a software component that lies in between the corporate network and the internet and monitors both incoming and outgoing messages. So it is ready to filter the messages. It permits the messages only uh, which satisfy the security policies of a business organization. Every business organization drafts or prepares security policies. And the firewalls filter both incoming and outgoing messages based on such uh, filtering rules or security policies of business organizations. And firewalls permit only those non-hazardous or non-threatening messages and they prevent uh, uh, either sending out or receiving in the sensitive or uh, hazardous data. So they prevent uh, the packets uh, which do not satisfy the security policies of a business organization. And in fact, firewalls record entire network traffic also for auditing purposes. So what are all the things that the firewalls record? The firewalls record source computer IP address, destination computer IP address, port number, protocol, and whether the access is granted or rejected. So this complete information is recorded for auditing purposes. Now let us understand different types of firewalls. There are uh, so many types of firewalls. First one it is packet filtering firewall. We need to understand what a packet is. Packets are nothing but a small pieces of data. Let us understand this one first of all. Later I will discuss the remaining thing. So what are packets? Suppose that there is a source computer and there is a destination computer. And this source computer wants to send a large piece of information. It wants to send a large piece of information to the destination computer. This large piece of information is divided into number of small pieces. So large message is divided into number of pieces like this. Such pieces of information is known as packets. 
such pieces of information are known as packets so packets are nothing but small pieces of information after dividing the large piece of large information into small pieces of information each piece is given a sequence number after giving sequence numbers they travel over the network and reach the destination while sending the packets from source computer to destination computer it is not compulsory that they should go in a sequence generally the packets go in random way that is after first packet maybe third packet later in second packet and lastly fourth packet so in this way randomly they travel and it is not compulsory that all the packets should go in a sequence suppose that here in this situation packet 1 is moving towards a destination and it successfully reached the destination and next it is packet uh, three that started moving towards a destination but unfortunately it stuck somewhere in the middle no problem next it is the packet 4 that started moving towards a destination and it successfully reached the destination and lastly it is packet 4 that is uh, uh, that started moving towards a destination so this is uh, what is the actual working mechanism of uh, packets so packets are nothing but a small pieces of information anyway uh, don't worry about uh, that packet 2 and packet 3 they finally reach the destination without any problem that is how robustly all the networks are designed uh, on the internet so packets are nothing but a small pieces of uh, information and the firewalls filter all those uh, packets and they permit the packets which satisfy the governing rules and they reject all such packets which do not satisfy the uh, filtering rules so the filtering rules depend on the policies of a business organization generally uh the filtering rules include the source computer ip address destination computer ip address port number and protocol if at all the firewall satisfies uh, with this information then only it grants uh, access uh, to a packet otherwise it rejects uh, access to a packet so that is how uh, this uh, packet filtering firewall works let us understand this one with the help of a small animation so there is a corporate network on the right hand side and uh, this network consists of a number of clients uh, client 1 client 2 client 3 client 4 and there is a server and uh, there is a firewall in between the internet and the corporate network uh, and one of the systems on this internet consists of uh, uh, several packets which are to be sent to the corporate network and it starts uh, uh, sending the packets um, to the corporate uh, network and let us see what happens some of the packets may be received Uh, by all the clients may be receiving the packets uh, and some may be rejected by the firewall so packet 1 started moving towards uh, corporate network is received by client 1 and see one of the packets is rejected by the firewall and uh, some of the packets are successful and they are reaching uh, different clients so you can see here almost all the clients received the packets successfully and at the same time the firewall rejected some of the packets um, and it uh, prevented them from entering into the corporate uh, network because they do not satisfy the filtering rules of uh, business organization so this is how a firewall actually works so that is about a packet filtering firewalls so packets are nothing but 
small pieces of uh, uh, data that is to be sent from source computer to destination computer and this type of filters which lie in between the internet and corporate network permit only those packets which satisfy the filtering rules and all other packets are rejected from entering into the corporate network now let us look at a second type of firewalls that is circuit level gateways these also work very much similar to the previous one that is a packet filtering firewalls in addition to that they even verify they even verify whether the connection between source computer and destination computer is a valid one or not and the firewall permits uh, uh, data exchange only on validation so only on validation it opens the session and permits the traffic otherwise it rejects uh, the moment of uh, messages in between the internet uh, and the corporate network in order to understand this one let us understand what does it mean handshake there is source computer and destination computer and the source computer wants to send a message which is divided into number of pieces known as packets and packets are given sequence numbers and these packets start moving towards a destination and the destination computer is assessing each and every packet and it sends back the acknowledgement so after assessing the destination computer is sending an acknowledgement to the source computer this is known as handshake so after receiving each and every packet the destination computer assesses and sends back an acknowledgement that the packet is received successfully so now the packet 2 reached the destination it is assessing and it is sending the acknowledgement lastly it is packet 4 that is moving towards the destination it is also assessed and finally it is sending the acknowledgement so this entire process is known as a handshake so handshake means sending an acknowledgement by the destination computer to the source computer so in this model source computer is sending a packet Uh, to the destination computer destination computer is sending an acknowledgement uh, and the novelty here is the circuit level firewall verifies the connection between source computer and the destination computer so this is where it is actually validating so it is verifying the connection between source computer and destination computer and it is deciding whether to allow the traffic or not so if it uh, uh, if the validation is uh, successful then only the firewall permits uh, sending the uh, packets uh, otherwise it uh, rejects uh, sending the packets so that is how the circuit level gateways uh, work so they validate the connection on validation only they open the session and permit the movement of packets otherwise they reject a movement of traffic third one it is proxy application gateways these are a special kind of gateways which consists of Uh, a server special server that runs within a firewall so actually firewall is there within the firewall a special server runs and each request for sending the data whenever the data is to be sent a request is sent such a request is received by firewall that firewall sends the request to the proxy server that is a special server that runs within, within the uh, firewall whenever that proxy server satisfies then only the data movement will be allowed so firewall is there in addition to that there is a special server 
that runs within the firewall that proxy server decides uh, the permission of uh, movement of data so that is the novelty of a proxy application gateways and very last model of uh, uh, firewall is a next generation firewalls these are advanced firewalls and have uh, uh, greater capabilities beyond uh, traditional firewalls we looked at a packet filtering firewalls we looked at a circuit level firewalls we looked at a proxy application gateways but when it comes to next generation firewalls these have greater capabilities beyond the traditional uh, firewalls they provide additional features like preventing modern threats because every day we are looking at different types of cyber attacks and these advanced firewalls that is the next generation firewalls have the capabilities of preventing such modern threats at present a cyber threat is detected somewhere in between 100 to 200 days that is if an organization suffers a cyber attack the organization comes to know about such a cyber attack only after 100 days whereas if we make use of these advanced next generation firewalls the business organizations will come to know about such cyber attacks within seconds so within very short time that is within seconds itself a business organization comes to know about cyber attacks similarly the business organization can even identify the intruders that is the, the source of attack within minutes so the business organizations can even trace the source of cyber attack within minutes using these next generation firewalls so a firewall is uh, a software component or a hardware component that lies in between the internet and a firewall i mean a corporate network that filters both incoming and outgoing packets and it permits uh, the packets based on the filtering rules that is the policies of a business organization and there are different types of uh, uh, firewalls like a packet switching firewall or a circuit level uh, uh, firewall next it is a proxy application gateways and last one is a next generation firewalls